Hi guys! So a couple of months ago, Nikki from Nikki Tutorials did a tutorial post about the power of makeup and how a lot of people are kind of putting a lot of girls or guys down with wearing makeup, um, putting them to shame, making them feel embarrassed and etc. And this is something that's kind of personal to me as well because I don't exactly wear makeup. I don't wear makeup at all to work or anything like that and I do wear a lot on the weekend and I feel like when people see me from work life to my life in general i feel like a lot of people say you know oh you look completely different or just doesn't look like you and just surprised how you know i can go from wearing nothing to a lot so i thought i would do my own intake on the power of makeup to me and how it kind of helps me personally and yeah so let's get started so first off glasses i obviously need glasses to see because i'm blind as a bat i wear it to work and every day because of convenience and because i really need to see but on weekends, I like to wear contact lenses, not because I'm embarrassed for them or because they make me look nerdy, but because when I'm out and about, I don't have to worry that my glasses get fogged up when I laugh too much or whether I'm getting really hot because they do tend to do that. So that's why I wear contacts on the weekend. So next is foundation and I use foundation as a base for my face to really give me color and even out my complexion as well, because the truth is, is as much as I try to stick to a skincare routine and apply skincare like cleanser, toner and moisturizer, a lot of times I forget or I'm too lazy to do it. And because I work in an office where I'm constantly indoors and at home I choose to be indoors, I don't get enough vitamin D or sunlight. Therefore my face is quite pale, doesn't have like a natural nice glow. And that's where foundation comes in and makes it look more even and gives it a nice color. And next thing is concealer because a lot of times I feel stressed or I have a lot of anxiety which makes me break out a lot and I tend to have you know more pimples and stuff on my face and also when I get my period because I'm a girl it is natural for a girl to get their periods where it does tend to make your hormones go wild and make you break out as well. I also apply concealer under my eyes because I feel like I have a lot of bags and my eyes are a bit dark under there due to lack of sleep. A lot of times I try to go to sleep early but for some reason I just think a lot and it really gets to me and then all of a sudden it's 2am I've got insomnia and I can't sleep and I wake up feeling so tired in the morning and yeah so I use concealer under my eyes to kind of cover that to make it look bright and vibrant to show that I did get enough sleep but really I probably only got about four hours sleep. So once that's all done, I'll also then go ahead and cover it with press powder just in case some of that stress and anxiety shows. I want to make sure I cover and give it a flawless look to show that how people interact with me, what people say don't impact me and that it doesn't make me stress and it doesn't make me break out and doesn't make me break down at night as well. So press powder is good and it also, you know, hides any oily spots you have or anything like that as well. Once I'm done with that, the next step is contouring. So I contour my face because I have put on a couple of kilos in the past couple of years because I let people get to me and I let them, what people say, I may look like I'm tough on the outside, but inside I'm hurting inside. Therefore, I tend to go towards comfort food to comfort me and I eat a lot and I try to eat healthy I try to not become an emotional eater but the more I try the more people I don't know the more I let that impact me so I contour my face to make my face look slimmer to hide the fact that I have a problem and I can't reach out to people but I reach out to food so I contour my cheeks, my jawline and also my face to give my face a little definition so it doesn't look flat and also hides the fact that, you know, all these extra fatty stuff around my face as well. Once I'm done with contouring my face, I also contour my nose because I have a flat Asian nose and it's not so much of a problem but all I remember is growing up. My dad used to pinch my nose and pull it all the time thinking, you know, it will kind of make your nose grow a bit bigger and not be so flat. Clearly it didn't work. But another issue as well when I wear glasses because I have a flat face It means that my glasses constantly fall down. So if I have an option to 
change my nose rather than playing plastic surgery then that's where I'll contour because it's a lot cheaper and it makes me slightly happier. So the next thing is my eyebrows and to be honest I love my eyebrows the way they are. These are natural and I'm quite proud of it because they look pretty damn good. But the fact that I don't like things feeling left out. I don't like people feeling left out. I want to make sure that they're also included and they don't feel neglected. Therefore, I'm also going to do my eyebrows since I'm doing the rest of my face. I want to make sure my eyebrows fit in as well. So next thing is the eyes and I'm just going to put shadow into the crease of my eye socket where there is just to define it and make it um, a deeper crease because I am Asian and I have mono lids. And I feel like in Australia, even though we are a multicultural, diverse country, 90% of ads still show an average Western white woman where they have really nice defined brows and, you know, their eyelids are really deep inside. And I feel like that because I don't have one that I don't exactly, it's not considered normal. Therefore, I like to make sure that every time I apply makeup, I always define the crease and also apply a bit more eyeshadow into the crease of my eyes and the socket to make my eyes look a bit deeper. So the next is eyeliner and I think this is one of the most powerful tools of makeup. I am proud of my Asian heritage but I'm not going to lie, I do make the odd Asian jokes here and there. Especially when I'm straining my eyes to try and see and people often comment, Gina open your eyes and I say, it is open, I just have Asian small eyes. But as much as I say that, I don't like the look of it being small. I wish it was slightly bigger because that's what the media shows looks beautiful. And there are also times at night when I go to sleep and I constantly think of things that people would say about me or I'm just having a really bad day and I let all my emotions get to me that I sometimes cry myself to sleep and it's not... That's something that, you know, I like to admit, but I do, and I often wake up with puffy eyes. Therefore, I feel like, obviously, you don't want to let people know that you spent the whole night crying and you've got puffy eyes the next day. So, the more puffy they get, the more I find eyeliner gets heavier and that really hides the puffiness of the eyes as well. So next is eyelashes and I already hate my eyelashes enough as it is but to be constantly reminded in magazines and in billboards of people where they're advertising mascara saying you know they've got really nice long luscious lashes but even when I buy that product it doesn't look that way. I feel like it's not natural and that to be beautiful you need really long luscious lashes therefore I fake it and I wear false lashes. So next is your cheek and by now you've got most of your makeup on and you're feeling slightly better and happier but the fact that you know that you're hiding all your flaws under all this makeup it kind of brings you down because at the same time there's still not much color or brightness and rosy cheeks indicates a nice happy rosy person therefore we'll apply a bit of this on our cheeks just to show that you know that we are happy, that we are, you know, trying to be happy or that we are having a good life at the moment. So I'm going to apply some on the cheeks and just bring that up. So the final thing is the lips and I think the lips are an important feature of the face because it's your choice whether you want to speak out or not and it's something that I constantly have trouble with although I can definitely speak out on a lot of different topics and different things the one thing that I can't is to tell someone how they're impacting me how they the way they treat me is hurting me inside and how they treat someone else like the actions they do how it's not right but because it's not my place to say I can't say anything therefore I wear lipsticks brighter the better because it gives me confidence to be able to say you know look this is not right or no that's not how you should treat someone so that's why I go and wear bright red lipsticks because it gives me that extra confidence to do so so that is my makeup tutorial and what the power of makeup means to me and a lot of people say, you know, that people only wear makeup to impress boys or because they're superficial and fake. But personally, I wear makeup to impress myself. I wear makeup to make me feel better and I don't necessarily want to display all my flaws out in front of everyone. So when someone says, especially a random stranger says, hi, how are you? They don't necessarily want to know your life story and how you really are. They're just saying it in a nice gesture, but who really wants to deal with other people's burdens? 
especially someone that you don't know. Therefore, I wear makeup to hide it because it's something that I can't tell someone. I can't just go out and tell someone how I feel because I don't feel comfortable with it. So I wear it to kind of just keep that to myself and make me feel slightly better to get me through the day. So I hope this tutorial kind of opens your mind and show you that not all people wear makeup because, you know, they're shallow or vain, but generally it's because they want to feel better about themselves. You know, some people feel better going for a run or reading or doing different things, and some people just feel better covering up because they don't exactly want people to see how much they're hurting inside. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching or I hope you did learn or get something out of it. Um, and please make sure you subscribe to watch more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.